Okay, so this is a thousand euro paperweight. Let me explain. This is between 150 days of winter. You get this view. It's been an incredible day. Thank you all for everybody. So this actually is an iPhone 13 mini, which was found on the slopes last year by somebody and it is for all intents and purposes a thousand euro paperweight and let me tell you why that really annoys me okay let me put this into perspective okay here we have a thousand euros Here we have an iPhone 13 mini. The owner of this phone, after losing it, made no attempt to try to recover his phone. That really, really bugs me, okay? Now, if you are an Android user, uh, since I think the iPhone 4, Apple has a thing called Find My iPhone which, if it's not self-explanatory, it was Apple's way of stopping people from stealing iPhones. But it also enabled people, when they lost their iPhone, they could go up, bring up a map, a pin would drop, and they would see exactly where their phone was. Uh, they could then send a message to the phone. They could then erase the phone if they wanted to. So on. And as it got updated, they could even send a message to the lock screen that said things like, you have found my lost phone, please contact this number, and it would enable a person to phone the one number, even if the phone was locked. So far, so good. I have absolutely no problem with that. However, Judging by this, there are, of course, a lot of people who obviously don't care or don't know how to use Find My iPhone. And so you have a device that, in, in essence, is useless. Okay. If you didn't know, I repair phones in the ski resort. And so I am generally one of the people who gets asked, hey, Alex, uh, I found this phone handed it to the police, they could do nothing with it, they gave it back to me after a period of time. Uh, is there any way you could like unlock it, like Hollywood style? And I'm like, no. The, the, the Find My iPhone, uh, the I, iCloud lock is, for want of a better term, unbreakable. Uh, I know I've seen adverts uh, advertising things that you can get around this, it's not okay uh that's probably for another video but in essence uh, they don't do that someone has handed me a phone with the original sim card in the phone and i've taken the sim card out put it in another phone to get the number from that sim card i have sent him an iMessage to say i know this might sound suspicious but i found your phone in courchevel uh would you be interested in having it returned for for literally the fee of postage okay and and when i said this to someone else they said that sounds really like a scam and i said yeah i know it is i'm trying to like message it as much as possible with our message you can see when the person has read that message and they have read that message and yet even after reading the message they haven't replied so they don't give a shit about it and people will say, oh, you know, I found this phone, whatever. Can you erase it? To which I say, yes, of course I can erase it. But of course, when you erase it, the first, you know, it asks you for the country, uh, the language. Uh, it asks you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And then, of course, it says put in the Apple ID and password of the previous owner. And of course, that's where it becomes unusable. I, I would love it if Apple in some way went and updated this so that when you connected to Wi-Fi network, 
because of course say for instance someone loses the phone it runs out of battery and when it's turned on again the sim card doesn't work the wi-fi doesn't work there is no way for the phone to actually tell the world where it is okay so once it's been completely erased and you put in a wi-fi network I would love it if Apple found a way of then contact letting either Apple or the, the original owner via Apple to say the phone has been found. Here is a pin of where it's been found. You know, would you like to receive a message? Would you like to do you, do you actually give a shit about your old equipment anymore? And if the, uh, the owner goes, you know what, I don't give a shit. I've already... Uh, the insurance company's already paid up. I've already bought another phone, which, of course, I'm sure Apple is very happy about, that this phone, and say, you know what? Good for you. You found my phone. Zap, I've now disconnected it from the network. You can now use it how you feel fit. Congratulations. It's Christmas for you, for want of a better word. But, of course, that doesn't happen. What you end up with is a beautifully crafted piece of e-waste. And that really annoys me. Um, you know, it, it just does. A, because rich people don't give a shit about their phones. And B, you have... And, so, and I know somebody might say, well, you know, you can maybe... The screen on this is worth something. And I agree with you, the screen is worth something. You could take it apart. This isn't a chop shop. I'm not breaking apart phones and selling them for parts. Okay, this is is something that, you know, is... Uh, there needs to be another way. And I would love it if Apple did something. Yeah, because... You know, if people are happy to throw away a thousand euros, a thousand pounds, a thousand dollars, then yeah, I, I I really I really don't know, uh, and I would love to know what you think. Okay, so if you have any comments about this, please leave them down below. Um, if you, of course, would like to see more tech videos, click the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this, click the like button, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.